Hi, this is Nikki with The Techie, and uh, today I'm going to be opening up these cassettes. Kind of dreading it a little bit because these are uh, kind of special to me. Um, actually, the Sony is more special to me. Never had a Bass cassette before, though. Um, that one is kind of special because this will be my first chrome tape. Uh, never had a true chrome tape before. Uh, never experienced the waxy crayon smell before. Um, and um, Tony from um, Cassette Comeback, if you guys haven't uh, seen his channel, you should definitely go check it out and subscribe. Uh, he has a lot more uh, in-depth videos about tapes and very informative. More than I'll ever be, to be honest. My site, my channel is just all things techs. And as you guys probably seen my late videos, um, they are <laughs> mostly about cassettes um, because the bug bit me. Um, now I'm only like 39 years old. And I say only, but in the world of cassettes, that's relatively young because um, I know, you know, I was too young to appreciate cassettes. They were too, just commodities, um, and I did not use them correctly. You know, type twos, I didn't know what those were. I mean, I knew they were better tapes, I just didn't realize, you know, that you had to record them differently. They were made out of different, um, you know, formulation, like all that stuff, ferric versus cobalt, uh, fair cobalts and and metals, um, chrome, all that stuff. I didn't know anything about that, you know, biasing. Anyways, um, I'm kind of rambling here. I'm kind of stalling myself. Skip ahead if you really want to just go straight to the opening, I guess. Um, but the Sony, even though this is a lowly LNX or CHF in the other markets and here in the US. This is actually worse sounding than the HF's uh, next generation tape that Sony did for their Type 1's. But I still love these because of the design and because this was the first cassette I remember ever seeing and playing around with and whatnot and um, never actually had one of my own. You know, I think my dad gave one of his second hand, but never had one new. So that's been nostalgic to me. Basically anything uh, after that was still pretty nostalgic. But then around the 90s, I basically just used it as, uh, thought of them as commodities. Again, this is special for today, actually. This is a modern thing, not really a, uh, not new, really a nostalgic thing because I've never had a chrome tape before. So this will be my first time smelling, um, smelling one of these. And yes, I did say smelling because uh, <laughs> um, they do give off a waxy crayon smell. And I've always been, you know, curious as to what they smell like. And Tony from Cassette Comeback says, yeah, you should open it. I'll give you a shout out. I'm like, uh, you don't have to, but... Um, but I'm giving him a shout out because he's kind of goading me into it. <laughs> That's the story behind that. Uh, and of course he did warn me that the Chrome Maxima 2 has a quote unquote sickly smell. Um, so don't take a huge whiff of this. But this is also a um, higher grade, I guess, or uh, where's the grading system? I know they had a grading system. So there you go. Extra one, Maxima one, chrome oxide extra, oh, I'm sorry, chrome dioxide extra two, which is the one I have right here. Um, middle of the pack, I guess. Um, I guess that's their lowest end chrome tape because the other two were normal ferric. Uh, chroma, chrome dioxide Maxima two, even during this time, would be their second, or their best, it looks like, chrome tape. 
And then they, lastly, they have their metal tape at the end. So there's five tapes or five lines back in the day. And this one then being the, the uh, chroma, chrome dioxide extra two is the quote unquote low end or entry level. Uh, uh, sorry for stuff on there dust and dirt and I'm on the floor sorry um you already know about this tape I'm gonna open this one up because there's a small crack in it anyways um I always like having one unsealed and some others that are sealed oh and by the way I do have another pack of these which is why I'm not gonna feel too bad opening up that one um this is the only one I have and this is in a nice pristine brick and this one I'm kind of sad to open but I, I I still will I mean it's nothing too special I don't think about having the packs and everything but what's interesting is that this has been purchased for eight dollars eight US dollars at Tower Records and this was I believe in the 90s I will have to check that out probably should have did some research before I started the camera I do know that this was late 70s, I think 78, 79, somewhere around there, which incidentally is when I was born, in 79. So, and then this one I believe was 85, 85, 86, something like that. And of course, if I didn't mention, maybe I did, the Chrome Maxima 2 here is from early 90s, I believe. Oh, incidentally, and of course, but I will open this, you'll guys see. I think this one doesn't have that security mechanism anymore, where if you look at this through the pack, you can see that there is a, um, the security mechanism. Which Basically, they're like two prongs that keep, I don't know, is it to keep the alignment or... Uh, to keep tapes from bunching up. I don't know. I don't know if they ever did anything good, but um, some people on the forums say that they do worse things <laughs> or sometimes bad things than good. So uh, who knows? I am not going to judge. So first, I am going to open up the Sony and as you guys know I usually keep quiet when I start opening up tapes because I want to let you guys hear the actual unwrapping so in that tradition let's get started eight minute mark okay oh I just cut my nails <laughs> so this is gonna be hard to do oops sorry I mean to cover up the lens Nice green leader tape onto the J card. I 
just took a little sniff and not a very strong smell. Hmm. Not a very strong smell at all. But it has a really sharp, relatively sharp smell. So, um, but again, it's not super strong. I remember as a kid, I remember these strong, smelling a lot stronger, um, even when used. So this has definitely been probably been sitting around a lot longer, even wrapped. Oh boy. Time to tear this one open. You know what? I'm gonna get a scissors for this. I'll keep that, I guess. Put that away. And I guess some dirt got into it. Feeling kind of gross. It's a little sticky. I don't know what that is. The rest of the tape, I'm probably going to clean it up before, um, before I put it in storage. But, time to open up the tape. Sixty ninety. That's interesting. Usually J cards only have the actual tape that's in there. Time to open it up. screws and not only that the screws are on side two not on side one like most tapes there's a security mechanism I was talking about the SM as you can see it's just a lever the hubs are light slightly yellowed I guess that's the way it was back in the day Very dark. <clears throat> I still think this is doesn't look super smooth, but it's smooth enough. Maybe it's age. But let me smell it now. This is my first time smelling. Okay. <laughs> it smells more like crayon than I expected. 
I had a uh, I, I had a used one somebody gave me and it smells slightly moldy. No, I'm not going to do that, though. It is interesting. Um, definitely haven't uh, smelled any anything like this. So that's kind of cool. Right. Back to the other tapes. Last one. Oh, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Ooh, that didn't sound too good. j card, of course. How can I forget? I guess they made J cards for both the 60 and 90s and figured it would be cheaper just to make one version. And on all their other um, 60s and 90s. Alright, this guy. Well, since this is still new in the pack, I can show you what it looks like. You guys probably already seen it in the beginning. They faced them both this way, and also, interestingly enough, they, um, I was told Bath seems to be the only company that does it the other way around, where the tape pack is on the right. I'm not really sure why they do that. Maybe just to be different. Um, of course, this wasn't. This was packaged the way I opened it, which is side one facing where the tape pack is on the left. And if you need a reminder, here it is. Still sealed on the left. Yes, guys, I am delaying. What of it? Come on. <laughs> Hey, it's a video. You guys get to fast forward to the interesting bits if you really want to. But here we go. facing forward, one of them facing backwards. So I'm going to take one of these. Oh, upside down. You guys know, just like with the uh, the XL2s from the 80s. I love the color gold on tape. Actually, I like anything shiny on the tape. Which is also why I like the, uh, oh, the UD1s on the, uh, on the Maxels. Aha, more delay, delay tactics. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. I've never seen this one before, uh, UDS-1, love the way this looks, even better than the XL2, so I've seen them so many times. Alright, 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 I'll get back to that. <laughs> I still think this is pretty cool here. seem to want to open. There we go. Oh, the gold screws.
that is a beautiful tape. Or I should say shell. No SM. That's okay. Smell it. It's actually much weaker than the other one. Don't smell much. Slight, it's a very slight crayon wax smell still. Okay, I agitated the tape a little more by doing this, so I can, st and it did, it did release a little bit of more of the aroma. It's not the same to me, actually. It doesn't smell sickly, or as some one person put it, it smells like vomit with a bit of flax smell, but I don't smell it. It just smells like crayons to me. Well, back to going forward. So yeah, this is probably going to be one of my more memorable videos for me anyways to do. Oh, forgot, don't forget, J card, I almost forgot that, throwing me off of my game because uh, I never had to stop and smell the tape in front of the camera before. On the other side. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that concludes my tape opening. Well, as I was going to, as I was saying, this will probably be one of my more memorable ones uh, for me, anyways. I don't know about you guys. Um, nobody could be watching my channel, and I wouldn't care because at the end of the day, this is really just me filming my favorite things to do and my favorite uh, hobbies and I always do look back at some of these because you can only unwrap tapes once and experience them brand new once so you might as well take a video of it not unlike children I guess or your pets <laughs> um but yeah that's it three open cassettes and the non-open version. Oh, and I guess I forgot to took, take one of the unopened Allen access, but that's okay, you guys already saw it, so. Posing for photos. And just like that, actually, um, here's the... whatever <laughs> there you go guys I'm not a professional okay but there you go that kind of looks cool <laughs> two unwrapped uh, all three unwrapped and all three still sealed next to each other just to show you what they look like 
naked and dressed. All right. I haven't figured out what to record on these just yet. Um, eventually I will. And I might do a separate video on when I do that, or at least the calibration part, not the actual recording, because of copyrights. Um, but if I ever do one with actual recording, it will probably be just a private personal video or something that I would post on Facebook, which by the way, uh, go to uh, Tony Cassette Comeback um, channel. He does have a link to his own um, Facebook um, group where a lot of us are actually talking, posting pictures. It's really a great place to be nostalgic about cassettes because people find stuff all from all around the world and uh, this will probably also end up on that um, group as well. So, um, well, this is Nikki and I'm signing off. If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Just like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. But I'm just gonna warn you, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so may not have new content all the time or on any kind of schedule. And even if I do, it may not be cassette related, as long as you're cool with different technologies and things like that. Um, you know, computers, um, you know, gadgets, phones, tablets, um, you know, home automation, things like that, things that I'm into. And that's it. Goodbye.